this edition of Man Space, we meet the man who dressed the astronaut so they could fly in space and look at a collectible that commemorates his involvement in the launch of Apollo 11. Born on January 12, 1916, in O'Fallon, Illinois, Joseph W. Schmidt's journey to becoming NASA's most famous suit technician began shortly after his high school graduation. He graduated during the Depression, so jobs were hard to find. With the help of his high school principal, Schmidt got into the United States Army Air Corps. He was assigned to Chanute Field, located in Illinois, where he received training working on aircraft. Once he completed that training, Schmidt went to Langley Field, Virginia, where he received training on aircraft clothing repair. Schmidt remained at Langley through World War II, where he served as an aircraft instrument specialist. After the war, Schmidt joined the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, or NACA, which in 1958 became the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. While at NACA, he worked on rocket planes and was on hand in the Mojave Desert when Chuck Yeager piloted the Bell X-1 he called Glamorous Glennis and became the first person to fly faster than sound. Following the formation of NASA, a space task group was formed to manage manned spaceflight. Schmidt's aircraft clothing repair training caught the attention of the group and Schmidt was sent to Norfolk Naval Air Station for spacesuit training. Armed with his training, Schmidt eventually headed to Cape Canaveral where NASA was getting ready to put a man in space. He was tasked with setting up a spacesuit shop and soon constructed the first instrument panel used to check out a spacesuit. Then, on May 5, 1961, America was ready to put a man in space before Alan Shepard would board his Mercury Redstone vehicle to become the first American to travel into space. It was Joe Schmidt who suited him up and readied him for the launch. The suiting up process complete, Schmidt escorted Shepard to the launch pad and assisted him in boarding the spacecraft. Before the hatchway door was sealed, Schmidt hooked up Shepard's communication and environmental control hoses and secured his safety harnesses. Schmidt played the same role on July 21, 1961 for the flight of Gus Grissom aboard Liberty Bell 7. Once again, Schmidt got the call to participate in another epic space first when on February 20th, 1962, he assisted John Glenn for his flight aboard Friendship 7. Prior to suiting up Glenn, Schmidt laid out the various components of the spacesuit, including the helmet and gloves, which contained fingertip flashlights for reading instruments while in space. As he had for the flights of Shepard and Grissom, Schmidt escorted Glenn to the launch pad in order to assist in his boarding the spacecraft. While waiting out a weather delay, a microphone bracket on Glenn's helmet broke. Schmidt fixed the bracket, whereupon Glenn said goodbye, and his spacecraft was bolted shut. He successfully launched and completed America's first orbital spaceflight. Following his flight, Glenn awarded Schmidt with a gold medal containing Schmidt's name in which Glenn carried with him during his flight. It was one of 10 such medals Glenn carried, including one he presented to the President of the United States. The last launch of Project Mercury occurred on May 15, 1963, when Gordon Cooper rode his spacecraft he called Faith 7 and completed 22 orbits of the Earth before safely splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. Within days of the splashdown, Schmidt appeared on the TV game show called What's My Line? On it, panelists quizzed Schmidt in an effort to figure out what kind of work he did. Though they established he worked on the Faith 7 launch, they were unable to figure out exactly what his role was. When America launched the first astronauts of the Gemini program on March 23, 1965, marking the first use of a two-man spacecraft, Schmidt was on hand for their suiting up as well. His role on the Gemini 3 flight was immortalized in a painting by Norman Rockwell. 
In it, Schmidt is depicted working on John Young's spacesuit. Schmidt was given a copy of the painting which he proudly displayed in his home. Schmidt went on to suit up the astronauts of Gemini 4, including Edward White, who performed America's first spacewalk. He also suited up the astronauts of Gemini 6, among the first Americans to successfully rendezvous with another spacecraft. Schmidt's next big first came on December 21st, 1968, when he suited up the astronauts of Apollo 8, who were destined to become the first humans to fly beyond Earth's orbit and venture toward the moon. Serving as Apollo 8 Commander Frank Borman's equipment specialist, the two men had worked together before. While Borman was a test pilot at Edwards Air Force Base, Schmidt had helped Borman suit up then as well. Apollo 8 was the first manned flight of the Saturn V moon rocket. Schmidt was one of only six people beside the three-man crew to be on the launch pad before securing the vehicle for its launch. Then, on July 20th, 1969, Schmidt was assigned to what he referred to in a 1997 NASA interview as, quote, the big one, the launch of Apollo 11 and a landing on the moon. Driving past scores of spectators lining the roads to witness the launch, Schmidt and his team arrived at the Kennedy Space Center at 3 a.m. to prepare the spacesuits. Schmidt and his team laid out the suits and checked the suit pockets to ensure each pocket contained the correct pens, flashlights, and other items. By the time the crew of Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Mike Collins arrived to be suited up, the technicians had also run checks on the suit's air and oxygen supplies to assure there were no leaks. They also had checked out all the communication systems. Suiting up began with the crew slipping into Long John underwear, then nylon gloves were donned, followed by spacesuit gloves. Next, the fishbowl helmets were locked into place. At this point, the crew would lounge comfortably in recliners until the go-ahead came from launch pad leader Gunter Wendt that the way was clear to proceed to the spacecraft. Once cleared, the crew of Apollo 11 loaded up into a transfer van that would take them to the launch pad. As he had before, Joseph Schmidt would accompany the astronauts on the ride. Upon arriving at the launch pad, Schmidt and the astronauts took an elevator 320 feet up to access the entry hatch to the spacecraft. Once there, Commander Armstrong climbed into his seat on the left side of the spacecraft. Schmidt followed him in and connected Armstrong's communication line. He also connected his oxygen hose and activated the flow of oxygen. He then secured Armstrong's lap belt and shoulder harness. Schmidt repeated the process for both Collins and Aldrin. Schmidt made a final quick check of the crew's equipment and determined that each crew member was okay. He wished them luck and the hatchway was secured. At 9.32 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the crew of Apollo 11 lifted off for the moon. Following their successful return home, the crew of Apollo 11 presented Schmidt with an American flag they carried aboard their spacecraft. Schmidt went on to work on the flight of Apollo 15. He also worked on the Apollo Soyuz test project in 1975, the first docking of an American and Soviet spacecraft. And in 1981, when America launched the space shuttle for the first time, Schmidt was on hand to suit up that crew as well. For his years of service and his contribution to the development of manned space travel, Schmidt was awarded the NASA Exceptional Service Medal in 1981. Joseph Schmidt retired from NASA in 1983 following the fifth flight of the space shuttle. He died on September 25, 2017 at the age of 101. Today we look at a collectible that memorializes Joseph Schmidt's participation in the launch of Apollo 11. We're looking at an 8x10 color photograph of Schmidt assisting Apollo 11 Command Module pilot Michael Collins in preparation for the historic launch of that mission. The photograph was taken during the suiting up of the Apollo 11 astronauts. Schmidt can be seen here assisting Collins with his spacesuit glove. On the upper right corner above his head, Schmidt has autographed the photo. He has inscribed it with the words, Suiting Mike Collins for Apollo 11 launch. He signs it, Joe W. Schmidt, 
NASA Suit Tech, 1969. Did you or someone you know play a role in the historic Apollo missions? If so, please share your memories in the comments section. Thanks again for watching Manned Space. Please watch for upcoming videos at least twice a week, during which I'll discuss the history of the space program by highlighting artifacts and memorabilia from my extensive space collection. Also, please like, subscribe, and click the notification button for more great content about manned space.